This verdict is a step. It's a popping of the lock. To count one, unintentional second degree murder while committing a felony, find the defendant guilty. <laughs> count two, third degree murder, perpetrating an eminently dangerous act, find the defendant guilty. <laughs> count three, second degree manslaughter, culpable negligence, creating an unreasonable risk, find the defendant guilty. <laughs> <laughs> we want our children to grow up. We want to survive. We want to have the same quality of life as other folks get. And so this verdict, this verdict is a step. It's a popping of the lock. The doors to justice have been cracked open with this verdict. But the fact is, we should never have been unsure about what the result would be given the abundant evidence against the murderer of George Floyd. We don't have justice as yet. We do finally have accountability. Justice for us is saving lives. And so that's what we're calling for as the Congressional Black Caucus. And I'm saying it because I know everybody up here wants to save lives. We know that there are still the mothers, the families, the children who are shedding tears today because a verdict will not bring back their family members. For all of the families who have loved ones that cannot return, this verdict, I pray, will give some comfort to the Floyd family. But we want our message to be very clear that this is just the first step. There's so much work for us still to do, so many families that are still in pain, so many black mothers like myself who worry about our sons as they go out every day to live their lives, so many young men terrified of police officers who should be there to protect and serve and care for them. We will fight continuously for all of those who died or have been injured senselessly by law enforcement. Now we must move forward and pass the George Floyd Justice and Policing Act and continue our fight for true justice. To bring accountability and to ensure that justice is done for all. And doing the larger task of rooting out systemic racism and reimagining policing in the United States of America. We are hopeful that today will be the catalyst to turn the pain, the agony, the justice delayed into actions that go far beyond today. Black lives matter. Yes. Justice matters. Transparency matters. Yes. And accountability matters.